welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Katie this is the Katie cat nails channel please excuse if you hear any random stuff in the background I am watching my husband stream on Twitch so if you like gaming go ahead and check my description box below Latin God TTV um, he does all types of games from Pokemon to Zelda to Call of Duty, all types of stuff. Um, so I am watching him in the background because he is streaming right now. And I do have my little two-year-old puttering around. So just be forewarned, there may be some parts of this video that flip-flop back and forth between voiceover and my actual voice. So I'm really excited because today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some Joss Love Poly Gel. It's been a while since I got to play with Poly Gel, so I'm super excited about this. I'm going to record the unboxing of this kit first and then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my mini fridge and depending on the consistency of this poly gel I will probably put it in the mini fridge just because poly gel usually does better if you cool it a little bit first. But let's go ahead and break into this set. I believe I got this set from Walmart but I think that they have it on Amazon as well. I will make sure to leave both of the links below. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you open it. You have your, it says mouse nail lamp. That looks super cute. We're going to go ahead and open everything in a moment, but I just want to go through what's in the box first. Then you have a set of these dual forms, and these are actually like the Lazy Girl Method dual forms. So, I'm kind of interested in trying these out. I don't know if I will today because I am going to be working on full cover nail tips. But these are definitely some nice looking dual forms. They seem very sturdy. But we'll go ahead and get into those in a moment. Then they also do include their poly gel brush. Nice stiff bristles and of course your scraper. We'll go ahead and try this out. Typically, I do not use the actual poly gel brushes that come with the kits, but we'll go ahead and try this out and see how it works. Then of course, you do get your instructions, what is in the product, how to prep, and the steps to apply. Further steps on the back, FAQs, okay? And then we have the actual products. Now it does come with six poly gel shades, a nude, a clear, a shining pink, a gray, a dark gray, and a black glitter. So that's exciting, I love black. Then it also does come with a top coat and base coat. Let's go ahead and check these out. Yep, definitely the same top coat. So that's great. I now have another bottle. That's what I love about these little kits that they always come with a top and a base coat because buying top coat and base coat by itself can get a little bit pricey. So this is the base coat. Definitely the same formula. And then it also comes with a slip solution. Now, typically I don't use slip solution. I use rubbing alcohol, but of course I will give the slip solution a try just so that we can weigh in on the consistency and the product, how the product works, does it work well. Typically I find that they're just, and this has no smell at all, the slip solution, so I'm not sure what it is, but definitely no smell to it. It kind of smells like saline solution. Like when you have allergies and your nose is stuffed up, that liquid that you sh squirt in your nose, the saline, it kind of smells like that. So that's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the poly gels out of the box. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at all of the products one by one. So real quick before we get into our swatching, I just want to take a look at this lamp, mouse nail lamp. I am very intrigued. I want to see what it is all about. 
Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. So it's like one of those touchpad mouses. Very cute. Okay. So as you can see, it's definitely a portable personal little lamp. We're going to go ahead and try this out as well. Um, see how it works. It comes with a cord. It's just your standard charger. Let's see what kind of heat we're putting out. That is a very clear poly gel. And these glitters are absolutely adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys into the fridge because they were a little bit soft, but they were still very, very manageable using the slip layer.
So I'm pretty sure it's just a, a matter of a fact that my house is like a thousand degrees right now. So I did go ahead and pop all of the poly gels into my mini fridge in order to um, harden them up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and get everything else ready. And then when those are nice and uh, a little bit of a thicker consistency, we'll go ahead and start in on our nail art. And here is right about the part of the video where my voiceover is going to come in. Y'all, I don't even wanna tell you what it took for me to get this video done. If you have anxiety, you you know the vibe. It was so difficult. Um, but let's just go ahead and get back into the application. So I did start off by, um, I was gonna do all Lazy Girl Method, but once working with a poly gel, I realized that I really did want to do a few of the nails overlay. So for this first nail, this is going to be the only Lazy Girl Method nail that I did. And I was going for like the Lazy Girl um, press on vibe. Unfortunately, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I cannot wear nails right now. I'm just, my hands are finally starting to heal up and I'm just not worth, it's not worth the risk of me breaking out again so soon. So I do not wear these nails, but I do do all of the steps that you need when applying this poly gel. I did my base coat. And then I went in with a small bead of the dark gray. Now when working with poly gel, me personally, um, I do like to start off with thinner beads and build up the product to the, you know, like desired uh, color and, you know, thickness of the nail. Now I am doing a lazy girl method on a full cover nail here. So the thickness doesn't really matter because I'm not wearing it. This is just to demonstrate how easily like the poly gel applied at first i was going to do a smile line and then i decided against it and then i was going to do an ombre like you see me here feathering it out but i didn't end up doing the ombre i did end up going back in with another bead of the dark gray and kind of doing like a smile line anyway here I'm just checking the bottom of the nail. Now I did use a very, very thin bead of this dark gray, so that is the reason that you see patches. It was actually quite pretty, as you will see once I add the second bead. So this is just me adding the second bead in, and as you can see, I was having a little bit of difficulty getting my nail tips to stick to the putty. I always have this issue with putty. I'm just really heavy handed. So it's always an issue. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch me form my smile line. And unless I have something to say before we get to the next step, I'm just gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you enjoy that part. So clearly I was very happy with my smile line very quickly. This is what it looks like from the top of the nail. And I'm just gonna go ahead and follow that up with a layer of the black glitter poly gel. And I think that these two shades went so, so well together. Um, you will see me fix the smile line a little bit later, but we'll get to that then. But for now, let's just go ahead and see how beautifully this glitter applied. I absolutely love these glitter poly gels. The consistency is fantastic, and they're just a really, really good poly gel. I really did enjoy working with them. Sometimes I can struggle with poly gel, especially when they're warm. And these do heat up rather quickly, but again, my house is like a thousand degrees, no lie, like... We do not have the ACs on right now. Um, so it is pretty friggin' warm. Um, but yeah, all I did was just apply the black poly gel with the glitters in it. Super, super pretty. Now I did end up switching over to the overlay method. And I believe for this nail, yes, this is the one I did in ombre, well, a reverse ombre with the nude shade and the glitter shade. So I'll go ahead and let you watch the first section of this. So 
So now I'm going in with the nude shade, and this was such a really pretty pinky peach, like nude shade. Um, it was a little bit thin, but I also do not like to start with like big beads of poly gel because then once it heats up, I struggle with the product. Uh, I apologize for any random creaks that you may hear. I am using my husband's um, gaming room right now to do this voiceover because normally I do it in the room, but he's sleeping and the kids are up downstairs and I just don't want to deal with all that in the background. So you may hear some creaking from his office chair every so often. So I do apologize for that. And this is just me applying the nude shade. As you can see, it applies and blends very, very easily. This is me just fixing up the blend with another bead. I do believe that I fixed the cuticle area off camera, but then I also did show you how I blended the glitter upwards to create the reverse ombre as well. Definitely really, really nice to work with these poly gels. Super, super smooth formula. If you've seen any of my older videos, you know that uh, poly gel is not my strong suit. So um, the fact that I created these absolutely gorgeous nails with very little effort was super, super surprising to me. I think it, a lot of it had to do with the slip solution also. I tend to not like slip solutions, especially the ones that come in like the polish bottles that kind of just remind me of base coat because sometimes they tend to be too sticky um, and they just end up making like a muddy mess, but I did not have that issue with this slip solution and this poly gel. And on the clear, you can see, although I did use a lot of slip solution because the clear was much softer than the other shades that do have more pigment in them, um, I still did not get any overcast or muddiness on the clear. So that was a really fantastic sign for me and I was very, very happy with how the, um, the slip solution and the clear poly gel performed. So this is just me kind of fixing my ombre by creating a reverse ombre. I'm gonna go ahead and just let you watch this quick snippet and then I'll be right back. And this is what the nail is looking like before I capped. And even with me having wiped off the slip layer, that sticky layer that you see on top of poly gel, the glitters are still absolutely brilliant. I love them so much. Now these next two nails are gonna be alternating between the light gray and the black glitter and the dark gray and the black glitter. Um, and I just did half and half and it's literally the same process. So I'm really not gonna talk. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch this part just so you can see how buttery and smooth and like super, super nice the application was.
And as you can see, super, super easy to work with. The glitters, they don't get like stuck in the brush or anything. They stay with the poly gel, which was a really big thing for me. And this is what we're looking at before my filing. Now the first nail doesn't really need too much filing as I did do the pop off method with it, but the rest of them did need a good file. Um, so I did go ahead and encapsulate the uh, glitter ombre and I did that off camera though just because um, it, it's just applying clear poly gel over the you know blended uh, nude and glitter and I just I felt like it wasn't necessary to keep it in because this is gonna be a super long video so after I filed that's what the nails are looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with this rosy shade from Joss Love as well. It's number 408 from their 20 plus three collection that I reviewed. That product will also be linked down below in the description box. And for this design, I didn't really have anything in mind. I just kind of went with the flow. Um, I just kind of went with what I was feeling and what I was feeling was some kind of like vintage -y sort of design I guess I don't know it was giving me like raw iron fence vibes but I don't know it's what I was feeling and I really liked the way that it came out so since I don't really know how to explain what I did really other than like some swirly lines and some dots I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you watch the process <laughs> And this is how the nails were looking before the final top coat. This is the design that I ended up with. I thought that it was like super, super cute. Um, I don't know, I like it. I think that it came out cute. Now obviously the first nail does look a little bit different because I did add a base coat to it in order to get the gel polish to kind of sit more still on the full cover nail tip um, because I didn't buff it beforehand. Or actually, I think maybe I did. Well, anyway, I base coated it so that it would sit a little bit more still. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat the glitter ombre on camera so you can get a nice little snippet of a glitter reveal. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of the nails. And 
then this is how the finished nails with top coat are looking i absolutely love them they're so pretty the glitters in that black poly in the black glitter poly gel are absolutely gorgeous black hollow is definitely a whole vibe i absolutely loved i'm these poly gels like it was such a breeze using them and I was so pleasantly surprised because usually I do struggle with poly gel but I had no issues creating this set at all no issues with the poly gel at all even the clear which I always struggle with was super super easy with the slip solution so I definitely highly recommend this poly gel kit you can get it on Amazon or Walmart and I'll leave the link for both of them down below I just want to thank you all for watching my video. If you enjoyed this nail set, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the nails. And consider hitting the post notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Big thank you to Jocelyn for sending me this product and your never ending patience when it comes to my timeline issues. Please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope that you'll join me for future videos.